Good morning everyone, it's Ryan and Stacy from the Next Ridge and today we are at John's Rest Cabin. Uh, it's maintained by the PATC and we've been here for the past couple days and we've been enjoying it. Now we have some good snowfall and uh, we'd like to show you the cabin. Yeah, we'll just give you a look inside. Um, this cabin is super nice. We've been to a handful of these cabins at this point and they're all pretty unique. And this one might be our favorite, honestly. It's been really, really nice. Definitely our favorite. It's, uh, it's not as primitive as most of the cabins we've been in so far. Uh, maybe that's why we like it so much, <laughs> but it's pretty nice. So we're gonna take you inside, show you the cabin, uh, show you what we've been staying in for the past couple nights. Let's go. super nice. It is also really well stocked with all kinds of stuff that you might need, all kinds of dishes, cookware, um, cleaning supplies, all that kind of stuff. Um, it also will spoil you because there is a gray water sink here. It doesn't have water in, but you can go haul water up from the nearby stream that's like literally 50 yards from the cabin. Um, and you can then use the water in this sink and it just drains right out, right out of the cabin, which is super convenient. So you don't have to wash your dishes outside in the cold. And then it also has super, super comfortable rocking chairs, which believe it or not, is really, really nice. And you kind of miss that in other cabins that just have benches. Um, the wood stove is in really good condition. So that helps out a lot. Some of them have sort of a lot of cracks in them, which makes it hard to manage your fire overnight. When we got here, there was a really good supply of wood, which is really, really convenient, and we've left even more wood than we found. So hopefully the next renters will appreciate it. And it has a nice table to sit at, just bench seats. Um, it has six sleeping pads, so there's enough pads for six people in this cabin. There's two single bunks down here on the first floor, and then upstairs is just a big flat loft where um, you can put the other sleeping pads on the floor up there. So this is the loft. It's very nice. Plenty of room to stand, plenty of room, more than enough room to put four people up here to sleep. Um, there's also, it's open to the bottom, which is nice for airflow and heat flow. And you also have openable windows on either side, which is really nice because you can get a cross draft if it's too hot up here. So that's really nice too. Watch out, oh boy. This cabin also has a second deck, which is really nice. Um, and you can sit out here and listen to the stream. We didn't use it a lot this time because it was so cold, but I imagine that in the summer it would be really, really nice. this way to the outhouse. Pretty basic concept. You got a seat and a hole. <laughs> it's not exactly um, not exactly luxury, but sometimes it's a lot better than popping a squat in the rain or the wind or the snow, as it were. Pretty straightforward. Come on, bud. <laughs> 